example have been uh, all of a sudden Jamford Edges and Kingdom is gone. Apple is ushering a brand new era and they're bringing the heat. So Apple just released the strangest design product in decades, and that's the Apple Watch Ultra. Uh, it's not symmetrical, it's big, it's bulky, it's in your face, and it's flat out awesome. Uh, the Ultra moniker is also the best thing to happen to the Apple Watch since I'm gonna say the original Apple Watch. And rumor has it with the iPhone 15, Apple is going to go Ultra again with the iPhone 15 Ultra. Here's everything we know about this new top of the top and iPhone. So the Ultra title was first used by Apple with the Mac Studio for its top end powerhouse chip, the M1 Ultra. The M1 Ultra is not just the best chip that Apple has ever made, but it crushed all the competition in the market. The second and latest product to use this Ultra was of course the watch. So this was the first time we saw Ultra make its name to, to hardware. Design wise, the watch Ultra is bold, utilitarian, durable, and I think people either love it or hate it. It was incredibly durable, made it a titanium casing, scratch and shatterproof sapphire crystal display, crown protector, dive compatible, and made for most extreme of users. And for us normal people, we get amazing battery life, and depending on your use, even up to three days, which for an Apple Watch is insane. So knowing what we know about power, design, and market, what's it gonna look like for the iPhone Ultra? In terms of design, I don't think we're gonna see something as utilitarian as the Apple Watch Ultra. However, a new titanium banding could replace the stainless steel we currently have on the Pro models. This would make it more durable and lighter. As for size, it's rumored to be slightly larger than the 14 Pro Max and have a bigger battery. If we could get anything near the battery level of the Apple Watch Ultra, that feature alone would be worth whatever they charge for this thing. But perhaps the biggest rumor of the 15 series iPhones is finally the switch to USB Type-C. This is long overdue and the entire 15 series line should be getting Type-C capabilities. What the Ultra could differentiate itself is by including Thunderbolt capabilities within this port. This would make for a crazy fast data transfer for photos shot in ProRes RAW, as well as access to plug in other devices such as cameras and hard drives to transfer files to and from your iPhone. And a recent leak has stated that the iPhone 15 Ultra might also have dual front facing cameras. What you would do with two front facing cameras is unknown, but I'm gonna just connect the dots and it's gonna somehow connect Apple's push into AR and VR. And lastly, Apple seems to be on a three-year cycle of its design, so if Apple keeps it this cycle, the 15 Ultra could also be sporting an entirely new look. Maybe it'll be the long, rumored folding iPhone? Doubt it. All I know for certain is that it won't get rid of Dynamic Island that should be here for years to come.